dossier. Hey everyone, today is a very special day because I am going to be performing a burlesque number for the first time in over three years, which I'm super excited about. The last time I stepped on stage was in 2018, and so it's been just such a long time, and I'm really excited, but I have to prep for that performance. And so this video, I'm going to kind of walk you guys through just me preparing for my show tonight, uh, as well as, you know, some clips from the performance itself. So, you know, sit tight, and I hope you all enjoy this really exciting episode because I'm super excited and a little bit nervous. I'm cutting it very close right now because I only have two hours left before I have to get on the train and I still have to shave my face and do my makeup before I arrive at the venue. But I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I'm going to be wearing for my performance as I start to pack it up. So without further ado, uh, this is the corset, which is kind of uh, burlesque 101, if you will. And I already stoned it. It's looking pretty good. Uh, this these stones I added last night, but um, they are attached. They're good It says they wait 24 hours. It's been more like 18 hours, but um, They're 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 on there. I actually wore them already. I wore this and gave it a test run. It's it's working So that's the corset that I'll be wearing the panties are still drying I actually had one of the beads fall off, but it looks pretty good this one at the top here fell off, so I have to be very careful and let it dry for a little bit longer. I'm hoping it stays on until the performance uh, is over. So fingers crossed there, I'll pack that last. All right, so here's the bra that I'll be wearing for the performance and taking off on stage. Uh, I spent a lot of time, you know, figuring out the placement of the jewels and then gluing them on, but I'm particularly happy about the two sets of diamond-shaped jewels in the center here. I think it's really fun and I can do something really playful with that during my performance. And uh, yeah, this is a really fun, cute bra that just kind of matches the color scheme of the entire performance, which I'm um, really thrilled about because I put a lot of work into this and I think that it's going to pay off once I hit the stage. Really, really excited. Uh, then I have my cape. Now this is kind of integral to the entire performance because the goal of the performance is to kind of convey that I am a fun, gigantic piece of Hershey Kiss chocolate and this is the wrap. So this is a cape that I made. Uh, I spent this whole weekend sewing this, um, procuring the fabric, all that good stuff. I was like, I want to say like the last like six to seven days actually, the whole week. Um, I was like procuring all the items, you know, cutting the fabric, and then this weekend I really spent a lot of time just sewing it and making sure that it was perfect. So uh, it looks pretty good. I, there are some seams that, you know, could still be finished, but for the most part it is performance ready, and I'm hoping that this becomes a staple in my wardrobe as I hope to do this number uh, many times. And then I have, I'm kind of out of sequence here, but I have my silver pasties. I haven't worn these yet. These are brand new. I'm gonna take them out of the package uh, right before the performance and put them on because it has adhesive on them already. Can you see that? It's like kind of bright. So there's already adhesive on here. So I don't wanna, you know, wear it and test it out. I'm just gonna try it on there. And if it doesn't stick right away, I'm sure one of the other girls backstage will have something that could help. Um, worst case scenario, I can just use a little glitter. Next, I'm packing up this beautiful piece here. Now, this isn't actually a part of my performance. This is just an outfit that I'll wear uh, prior to my performance and then afterwards because I want to show off, you know, different looks. And so, this will be the outfit that I'll wear when I'm, like, engaging with the audience, saying hi to my friends, you know, getting a drink at the bar. Uh, and then, you know, I'll take this off and wear my Hershey Kiss uh, couture, if you would, for my performance. So, pack this. Now, today, I'll be wearing two different wigs. This brown blown out bob I'll be wearing during my actual performance and then when I'm engaging with the audience just walking around not actually performing I'll be wearing this wig here which I'm sure a lot of you recognize because I've been wearing this a lot on my most recent videos. I'm also bringing some body butter because I want to make sure that I have smooth and moisturized skin during the performance. Make sure my legs and arms are nice and smooth so that's important. I've got my tucking panties obviously. I've got white gloves as part of my performance. This is the first item that I'll take off when I'm performing. Then I have my wig cap and the headband that I'll be wearing during my performance. And this is really cute because I got this black headband and I just hot glued this giant Hershey Kiss on here. This is actually chocolate. There's actual chocolate in here. I don't know if you can see that, but actually edible. Uh, I'm wearing something that I can eat, which is great. Uh, so this is going to make it very clear that I'm a Hershey Kiss. This along with the cape. And then when I take everything off, that's why the corset, the bra, the pennies, they're all brown because it's like you're unwrapping a giant Hershey Kiss to reveal the chocolate within. Then I have these two heels that I'll be wearing. I'm obviously going to be wearing these silver booties for the performance since it's just in line with the color scheme of the entire outfit. And then these are just for any other moments that I'm just walking about. 
And then jewelry is a given, but I'm especially excited about these new earrings that I got because I just love dangling jewels and it really captures the light, isn't it? Then I have my makeup box here, and this is just for touch-ups, do my makeup backstage. I'm gonna do my most of my makeup before I get there, but you never know what happens. You know, the elements are off there, you know, just wind blowing off my eyebrow. So just in case I need any touch-ups, I have this here. And then an essential item that all performers need before they go out is a hairbrush. I mean, I don't know why I always forget to bring one, but it is truly essential because you wanna make sure that you're brushing out your hair and make sure that it looks beautiful before you hit the stage. So I prepared this time around because I'm bringing my brush, just packed it. It's there. Hopefully I don't magically lose it before I arrive because that has happened to me multiple times, but fingers crossed. Now I'm pretty much packed up and ready to go. I gotta shave my face and do my makeup. But before I do that, I wanna thank today's sponsor and pack the final item in my bag and that is Dossier's Perfume. Now, Dossier was kind of to send me a ton of different fragrances, but today I'm going to be wearing Citrus Green Apple because it smells delicious, and I want to smell delicious when I hit that stage. I want to make sure that I smell very feminine and fun and a little bit fruity, and so Citrus Green Apple is going to do that for me. This is actually inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry Eau de Perfume, although I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. French is not a language I am comfortable with. But I will be wearing this right before I perform. I'm going to spray a little bit on me just so I smell really good. I won't be doing it in the change room because there will be a lot of different fragrances happening. So right before I perform, I'll probably walk out, pretend to take a smoke, but really just spritz some of this lovely fragrance on me. Thank you so much, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. And with that said, it's time for me to shave, do my makeup, and head out to the House of Yes for my first performance in over three years, which I am like... I'm kind of stunned by it, like that it's been so long, but super excited because I'm pretty sure that this will be the start of a long, fruitful run of just tons of performance throughout 20... Oh, I actually forgot there are two more items that I need to pack and they're absolutely essential to the performance because I want to end the show with a bang. I want to give the viewers something that is completely unexpected. And those two items are Hershey syrup and a tarp. And I'll let you put two and two together. All right, so now that I'm packed up, I have to shave my face, do my makeup, and head out because right now it is crunch time. This is the house of yes. This is where I'll be performing tonight. So this is one of the changing rooms. Look how big this is. Look at this. This little armoire here. I've got some chases. This is real cute. And then over here, you can see there's uh, more people who are preparing for their performance, but I have to get changed and I'm going to run my number real quick. So, really excited to be here. Now, I am so excited to get to bring this next performer to the stage. Thank you. 
until break of dawn Baby, it's the two of us I know you won't let me down So I just got back home from my performance and I mean what a wonderful evening I just had. It was so nice to hit the stage again after all these years and I haven't lost my touch at all and I really have you all to thank for just helping me build up that courage here on my channel with all your wonderful comments, your critiques, your engagements, just kind of joining me throughout my live makeup sessions. It's just been really nice to have you all uplift me and you know build my confidence to the point where I can go out there and perform on stage for the first time in such a long time and share Yoya Fabulosa with the world. And, and the world deserves that. The world deserves to see more of Yoya Fabulosa. And I also think that this burlesque angle is going to be the direction of my channel going forward. So this may be the last time I perform in 2021 because this is the end of the year, but I do think in 2022 I'll be performing a lot more and I'm really excited about that because uh, burlesque is so much fun and I'm just riding this high right now, but I really do need to clean off all this chocolate that I poured all over myself during my performance. So with that said, thank you all again so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on burlesque. Do you enjoy it? Have you ever seen a show? <sighs> all right now, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.